Remember, I'm Nova, not Noah. I know that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Elijah Ignatieff of the New Paradigm Toolkit and Planetary Guardians. And we're here with the uh, background worker doing all the hard programming work in our new product called ChatStream. And this is what you are about to jump into. And so what we're going to do is to take the knowledge we had in the last session we had of looking at conversation types and values, and we're going to look at how do we begin to program missions such that teams accomplish objectives and do so within a certain time frame. And so what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through the process you're about to go through uh, on your own. And just to show you ahead of time what some of the functions are and what you'll be doing uh, within the chat stream product. So over to you, Nova. And I would just like to say that Nova has been putting in an incredible amount of time in the last little while to get this ready. And he's been doing this on his own. So huge hero uh, appreciation to Nova for what he's uh, done to get the product to this stage. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, hello, my name is Nova. I'm checking in feeling pretty good. Uh, some of you may know me from previous videos or because you're in uh, my LCL group. Hello, Michael. Uh, yeah, um, I've been working a little bit uh, overtime lately to get this done, but uh, me and Elijah have both been putting in a lot of hours to, to get this to the point where it is now. Uh, so without further ado, um, we're going to share our screen here and we're kind of give you a quick walkthrough of how to use the facilitators portion of the chat stream. So first thing you'll see is uh, when you arrive at planetaryguardians.net, uh, you'll see the simple login page. Uh, you should have received a password and uh, you're, you just use your, your email address itself uh, to log in. Um, so enter your password, click the login, and you should arrive at a screen that looks similar to this, although this will say zero. Uh, so you'll notice here it says needs setup, and down here it says setup mission or mission not set. So what I would recommend you do first is to click on the manage missions button. So take you to this brief screen uh, and it'll give you a short introduction to what the platform is and uh, give that a little read and it'll you'll notice here it says the first step is for you to set up mission one to start so you can click on set up the mission um, this will bring you to this screen which kind of describes the first step called the start and in our chat stream technology there are seven steps uh, each of them is a little bit different and they involve different mechanics and framework uh, to allow the complete process to bring your group or organization through a system of decision making and recording so that uh, you can use this to actually uh, fulfill your goals. So specifically, the first mission involves a mechanic called support or support buttons. And uh, this will become more clear as you use the chat stream for the first time with your group. Essentially, it's just describing what will happen um, you don't have to worry about that for when you're creating the mission for the first time. Um, beyond mission one, you will need to set up the mechanics. Just choose kind of the options you want, but for this um, one, you do not. If I can jump in here, you're going to be getting set objectives and a specific value convo type and lens given to you by the Luciel steward team. Uh, but for the first seven missions, all the missions parameters are going to be set ahead of time. Um, so you'll be giving that encoding, I guess, before each mission. So let's just put that in there as an example for now. Um, second step is uh, you specify a time limit. Um, depending on how your team and Luciel makes this decision, some of the uh, chat stream discussions may be unlimited, which, in which case you can just leave it all zeros and click continue. Uh, some of them may want to have it open for one week. You can just do that and hit continue, and that'll do that. Uh, or you can set it up for a certain amount of minutes and hours, and that'll just you know limit your team to say one hour. Uh, so you can have the discussion, and then the, the chat room finishes. 
and the the results and everything will be will be recorded. For now, let's just leave it at seven days as an example. And once you get your your limit, put uh, continue. Uh, the next part, uh, you'll be given instructions on uh, which lenses to choose uh, for the value lens, the conversation type, and the conceptual lens. Uh, uh, to do that, uh, just go to choose, and then you'll uh, you should be able to find them in here. Uh, there's only eight per category here, uh, and some of these have a little bit more, but you should be able to find it fairly easily. Let, let me jump in here a bit. Um, here you have the four levels of choice, flow, synergy, and harmony. Each of these has a group of concepts within it, and it's it's like for the full card set, you may not have this yet, but there's like an inner U card set, the choice lenses, an outer U card set, the flow lenses, the inner group card set, and that the synergy lenses, and then the outer group, which is the harmony lenses. And so you can see your solution or remedy or problem, or whatever you're looking at from one of these specific lens levels. Now, if you go back, back one there, and you see that you have the value lens, the conversation type, and the conceptual lens. This is the magic spell. And that in each of them, you have either your choice or random. You can choose specifically what kind of value you want, what convo type you want, and what conceptual lens you want, which is going to be the way we're going to do it for the first seven missions. Or you can press random, and all of a sudden, you get this random divination to link into how you're going to achieve your objectives. So depending upon which sort of way you're coming in as a facilitator and what are the larger parameters you're working within is how you're gonna use this part of the, the setup. So perhaps the demo will just go with random. So we can continue on here. Um, you'll notice when the random hit happens, um, you're given one lens and you can always just pick another one if, if you think you know that one's not good. Uh, I like trust, so let's go with trust. And for conversation type, let's see what it gives us. Upgrade, accept, and conceptual lens, boundary. Sure. <laughs> so once you've selected them all, they'll kind of move. This continue button will become available, and then you can continue on. So the last step is the scheduling. Now there's two options. Either you can pick manual start, which is the last option that you need to do. Um, that will allow you, the facilitator, to start the mission with a click of a button, uh, and it will wait for you to do that. Uh, or you can pick schedule mission, uh, where you can schedule it to start at a specific time and date. Uh, we'll go through that just because there's that's uh, the option some people may like. So you'll notice right away that whatever time zone that you're uh, that you've set up your account for this time and date will be displayed in that. Um, but uh, don't worry, we've taken care of all the scheduling issues with different time zones. So that when you schedule it in this time, with this time zone, uh, the other members of your group will log in and see it in their own time zone. So it'll convert the time for them. Uh, so let's, for example, set it at Monday at Twelve noon, but you notice it changed the day. So just be careful which one, which day you pick, um, Monday at noon, and you'll notice you won't be able to schedule it before the hour that you're currently at because that would be kind of silly. So let's go Monday at noon. So that's actually the last step. Uh, now you'll notice on the bottom left it says pending mission. So the mission is actually ready to go, and it says here next mission in the middle there Tuesday September seventh at one o'clock America White House White Horse time. Uh, <laughs> that's when the meeting is. <laughs> that's when the meeting is. Should say noon. For some reason, it says one o'clock. Uh, our 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 professional programmers will fix that right away. Uh, so when you click on another thing is when you click on update time zone, if you need to change your time zone, uh, perhaps you set it up wrong when you initialized your account, uh, or you've moved, or you're currently visiting somewhere. Um, so in order to do that, we've just set it up in a way so that you look here on the left and see what day and time actually is where you are. Don't worry so much about what city it says. Just pick the time that's actually your local time. And then hit update, and it will refresh. And oh, look at that. The mission is ready to join. Second bug that uh, we'll be fixing very soon. Uh, the other portion is you can manage your team. 
Uh, normally this starts out with zero people. We'll fix that for the next time that we make this video. All right, I think uh, so. I think we have to redo that, but I need to set it up would a little you, better. That was fine. <laughs> You're doing good. No, no, no. Well, there's some other there's some problems with it. <laughs> you just you should just stop right away. We can, <laughs> we can edit that. That's fine. It's fine. Let's just continue. No, we could do it again. I think we did good. No, just go with me on this one. Let's finish this off until how we would. <laughs> and then see what we need to say. Okay, but there's already members, so how do we, we can add a test member, I suppose, and show them that. It doesn't matter. You can, <laughs> they're just seeing that, yes, we've already put our team in here, so it's no big deal. Okay. All right, um, so I'll come out of updating the time zone and come back. How, how about and, click here to join? Click here to join and take a look at the chat room. Sure. So uh, once the mission is created and ready, um, it'll say click here to join. And for the, uh... no, no, no. Just, just click it, <laughs> click it. <laughs> I don't have to stop laughing first. <laughs> is this gonna be this slow or is this, did you click it? Click it. So <laughs> okay. now. So uh, once you're in here, uh, okay, there's an error here. Hold on. How, how can they look so one. small? What's wrong with it? It's not working, is it? Uh, Memento, four, four, four. Four, four. Hmm, it's weird. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work, but I will fix it. Take all that time with those stupid cards and their little icons. <sighs> so, as you can see, the chat room loads. Uh, you'll see the three cards that you picked up here. You can look at them at any time. And they are here to frame the conversation. Uh, you'll notice your group name, Sacred in Reality, for example, is at the top in the middle. Uh, mission one or mission step one, the start, is on the far left. And the time remaining is actually on the far right here at the top. Uh, and you'll notice in the middle, just below the team banner, is the objective they set. Uh, and also to the right, you may notice these personal points, group points, and supports left. Um, that is, you'll, you will accumulate personal points as you post messages, support other people, and basically use the system. And your group will also gain points as everyone continues to do things for the group. And supports left, uh, that's actually for the support button, which is the mechanism that is provided for mission step one to start. Uh, and basically, you, you can support someone else's thought. Um, the purpose of that will become clear once you start using it. And there's a little thing on the top right uh, where you can log out. Uh, you'll notice also the people inside the chat room are highlighted with color if they're actually online. And until they log in, um, their, their team profile image is just grayed out, showing that they're, they're not currently in the chat room. Uh, we can post a, post a test message here, say test, and click the post button. You'll see it appears here. Uh, I'm playing Captain Sweep at the moment as a test. Uh, and you'll also notice that if you'd like to, for whatever reason, say you don't like what you typed, you can hit clear, it clears it. Um, and if Captain Sweep logs in and I log in, we can do some more cool stuff. <laughs> okay, edit, the, edit this part out. Hey, wait a second. Where, where is the add document and add, add picture? No, we took those out, remember? I don't remember taking those out. out. Yeah, well, you wanted me to get this done to the to the minimum that it needed to be done right away. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember those ones coming out though. That's those are like core, those are core. You actually took them out when they could have been in. Uh, I don't remember where they went. They're out. <laughs> They're currently not there. That's true. 
Okay. The, okay. We just got to start to make a list of additions soon because uh, those things are like hugely important for this because it, then we can bring in the image of the condo types. And at some point we want to change the condo type as we're going. Right. That's not, that's nothing to do with putting an image in. Yes, it does. If you wanted to, if you wanted to change this up here, that's totally different. No, no, but I'm saying that I don't like it up there. What I want is the bar at the top to have the the combo type needs to be the most prominent bar. And then the image when you inside the chat stream is you can change the combo type by the facilitator can change the combo type at some point and bring in a, like the PNG of the combo type and then the bar up high will change. That's well, okay, but that's not the same as, as putting a picture into the chat stream. Putting that's a picture different. in the chat stream won't do anything. But if well, they you know, if, putting if, a picture, if you can set up the you, facilitator you, so they can click on no, this and change it. What do you mean it doesn't change anything? Adding, I mean, it doesn't, it, it's not set up to automatically change these if they post a picture. I, I know, I know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. This is uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, that, that can't be done now. It doesn't matter. So let's continue. So that's pretty much all we have. Uh, welcome to the chat stream. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I honestly think we should do this video again. Well, now, I mean, we can use parts of it, but we should do it again for sure. And okay. And also, I think you need to log in as yourself. I'll log in as myself. And then we can, we can talk to each other on here just quickly so we can show the support button. Okay. And that you can uh, see other people's thoughts, for example. Okay. So, so should I, in okay. that case, uh, oh, or, sorry. Go ahead. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it's going to, there's going to be this like behind, who's behind the, who's behind the, this 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 uh wizard of oz curtain right and there's these me and you're behind there trying to, <laughs> trying to create this little thing and at some point this little thing is going to be doing so much havoc <laughs> imagine conscious communication for human beings we'll be all right bro. i don't know we'll be all right we just need a product manager and some other stuff yeah, just that. Everything will be fine. Everything is just yeah. going to be fine. We'll be all over it. And if it's not fine, she'll tell us who we need and we'll go get them. Yeah, well, that's all we can do. I mean, you got a lot of school to do for the next 10 years, so we'll have to sort of wait for you to... <laughs> 10 years? God, I hope not. Yeah, why don't you keep going, you know? There's, there's a lot to do. You got a lot to learn. Got to keep up to these young bucks. All right, so how about you log in right now 